Okay, 3-4, dividing rationals. Um, guys, we've already done a little bit of this. Rational numbers are just fractions. So anytime I see the word rational, just replace it with fractions. So I might have, um, I might have 3 fourths divided by 1 half. And so if I'm going to divide fractions, this is keep it, change it, flip it, where I'm going to keep the first fraction. I'm going to change the division to multiplication. And then I'm going to flip the, t the 1 half and make it 2 over 1. Well, I need to get a little eraser on that one. The board is calibrating on me. There we go. Not the happy pin, regular pin. There we go. So then I can take anything and cancel it into something else. That 2 is going to cancel into that 4 twice. And then I just multiply straight across. 3 times 1 is 3. And then 2 times 1 is 2. I do need to change this into a mixed number. So 2 is going to go into 3 one time with 1 half remainder. So my answer is 1 and 1 half. Now, that second term, I don't want that. There we go. This thing is way off. Okay. Okay, now we're back at it. I think I'm going to get something crazy when I put it up there. No, we're good. Okay, so when I take, uh, when I take any fraction, When I flip this 3 fifths into 5 thirds, that transformation is called the multiplicative is called the multiplicative inverse, which just means take the reciprocal. So the multiplicative inverse of 3 fifths is 5 thirds. The multiplicative inverse of, let's say, uh, 3 and 1 fourth. How would we find that? The first thing we would need to do is make 3 and 1 fourth into an improper fraction. So we're going to take 4 times 3, which is 12, add 1, which that gives us 13 over 4. And so the multiplicative inverse of 13 over 4 is 4 thirteenths. Notice that if you were to multiply 13 over 4 times 4 thirteenths, everything would cancel, just giving you an answer of 1. So the multiplicative inverse is, what do I need to multiply my fraction by that's going to give me an answer of 1? That would be its reciprocal. Okay, so we've done some number division. How about some, um, how about some division with, with variables? Uh, Something like that. 4AB over 2X divided by A over X. So we're going to do keep it, keep it, keep it, change it, flip it, put everything together, make one word, keep it. We're going to change it to multiplication because I'm using X's. I'm going to go ahead and use a dot. And then I'm going to flip the second one. Now, just like numbers, Variables can cancel as well. If I have an x on the top and an x on the bottom, I can cancel them. If I have an a on the top and an a on the bottom, I can cancel them. So what's left on the top 
is going to be 4b. And what's left on the bottom is 2. Now, I missed a canceling step over there because I've focused on the variables and not the numbers. That 2 will actually divide into that 4 twice, giving me a final answer of 2b. Or not 2b. That is the question. OK, so we're going to um, do some more of those. Let's do something, something out of the book. How about, how about 5AB over 6? Let's divide that by 10B over 7. So keep it, change it, flip it. That's 5AB over 6 times 7 over 10B. 5 is going to go into the 10 twice. B is going to cancel. That leaves me on the top A times 7, which is 7A. And on the bottom, 6 times 2, which is 12. That's what we have. Short and sweet. We'll see you in the